Hey guys, hey guys, this is your girl, Living Caregiver Uncut, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh my goodness, I cannot stop emphasizing how great my God is, okay? He is awesome, he is excellent. Okay, let's speak some Spanish in it too. <laughs> okay guys. I am back at it again. God is good and faithful to me. He is so faithful. He's not going to leave me stranded. He's not going to start nothing and don't finish it, okay? And I know he will do the same for you. Let's continue to pray to God. Let's continue to honor him and acknowledge him for who he is, okay? All right. We'll be, we're still on the topic of protection, protecting our clients. But first, I want to thank you for following me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for subscribing to my channel. Guys, I cannot do this without you. You got to share my channel to a friend, a friend, a friend, family, family, family. Yes. And thank you so much. Guys, guess what? I am in my home. Okay? <laughs> I'm loving it. I don't have to think about my client. I don't have to watch the clock or anything. I can just sleep and unwind. And guess what? I am here with my millionaire, Kenya. That's my man, my fiance, my best friend, my love my honey bunches of oats okay yes i am here with him and guys the live is coming up guess what i love to come home because there's always a surprise here from my fiance he's oh my god he's a pack of surprises i love to come home because i know it's on okay <laughs> he always have something for me okay yes I love to get gifts from my fiancé and I love to give him gifts too. Yes. So I always enjoy coming home if it's even for a weekend or two days or three days or whatever, how many days. I just love to come home. Other from that, I love to come home home so I can do my womanly duty, my wifely duty, okay? Yes. So, yes yes okay yeah mm -hmm. you start thinking mm -hmm. yes 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 i love to come home i love to enjoy my home i love to enjoy my fiance we are time together and guys the live is coming up okay we'll be talking how we do it how we keep the fire in our relationship and guess what yes we bump at that time <laughs> don't think it runs smooth now we bumped heads at times, but we come to an agreement. We'll be talking about that, how we do it, okay? I've learned how to incorporate stuff in my relationship over the years, caring for elderly clients. Can you imagine? I've cared for clients who have been married for 72 years, 60 years, 50 years, okay? 40 years, and they, I listen to their different stories the things they've been through and stuff like that. So guys, guess what? I incorporate some of those things in my relationship and how to be a better wife, okay? All right. So guys, we are at it again. I am in your face again. But you know, I'm always in your face in a positive way. Tell me if I'm not being positive, okay? Comment in the box below, okay? Send me an email, DM me, whatever you want to talk about. Yeah, even though you curse me out too, but that's fine. <laughs> Guess what? You don't take away nothing from me when you curse me. <laughs> so guys, back to our original topic now we're talking about. Protecting our clients. I am protecting my clients. You are supposed to protect your clients. Okay, remember we talk about um, the restaurant tips, the scammer calls, 
caregiver stealing from the client, pawning stuff, all those things we've been talking about, the nosy neighbors, oh my God, they, guys, guess what? You don't eat cookies, stop taking their cookies. You can make your own coffee, you can make your own cookies too. Guess what? Stop encouraging them. Don't take the cookie for them to feel like you're eating it when you throw it in the trash. Just tell them, oh no, I'm watching my weight. I don't eat cookies yet. I'm like that. I'll tell you straight up in a nice way with a little chuckle behind it, honey. Yes, I'm going to do it. Oh, I don't eat cookies. I'm watching my weight. I'm here all the time. I'm not doing a lot of walking, so I'm watching my weight. I don't eat cookies, honey. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a nice day. Yes, that's how I do it. So guys, we talk about the nurses, the visiting nurses who are stealing from the clients. Guys, they tell these clients, oh, give me the money in small portions. $300, $200. It adds up. And they take it every time they come. If they come three times a week, they take that $200. Or that $500 once a week. Yes. So the family don't know, realize where the money going. Guess what? Yes, the nurses. I've heard stories. I've known of stories where nurses even take money to buy a car. Yes, it happened. Stop it. Okay? Yes. She lost her license and everything. But guess what? Let me tell you something. Don't lose your license for those things. Do not lose your license for those things. You work. Go work two, three jobs. You can, as a nurse, you can work the hospital and you can work some home care. Or you can work long hours at home care. Don't limit yourself to just 40 hours. You can work 80 hours. You can pick up shift here and there. You don't have to do it in the one hospital. You don't have to do it with the one agency. So make your money. Make your mad money. Nurses, come on. We can do it. You can make your mad money. You don't need money from the clients, okay? You can make your mad money. I make my mad money over the years still making it. That's why I can live like this, okay? <laughs> so let me tell you something. If, you're slowing, if I'm slowing down now, that's fine. I make the money over the years so I can live comfortable and I can talk about it. Okay? Yes, so nurses, come on now. We can do better. Do better. Show an example. I'm talking about the bad nurses. You know yourself. I am not talking about the good nurses. Don't come at me. This is uncut. The good nurses, don't come at me. The only thing you're supposed to come and say, girl, you know what you're talking about. Don't come at me because you know yourself. You nurses, you RNs, you LPNs, you LVNs, we sl slipping money from the client and advising them how to get out the money from the bank to give you every time you visit. Stop it. You get on top of my nerves. You guys are disgusting. Caregivers, when these nurses come to the home, do not leave your client alone with them. Do not leave your clients alone with these visiting nurses. They are thieves. Okay? Some of them are thieves. They know themselves. So caregivers, when they come, you set up, set up for them before they come. The trash bin, the chair they're going to be sit on, sitting on, okay? And a little desk or something where they can rest their bags. Do not let them put the bags in the, the couches and stuff like that because everywhere they go, it's either on the ground or in someone else's couch. Remember, corona is prevalent. You are not only protecting your client from them slip, slipping money from them, you are protecting them from corona too and yourself from corona. So put on your mask, put on your client mask before they come in the home. Yes, Lysol before they come, Lysol after they go, okay? Yes. So guys, as I said, protect your client from these people. You know, I am not saying all the... the Visiting nurses are the same, but it happens. Guys, it happens. Yes, it happens. Let me tone down my voice and whisper to you. Guys, it happens, so just be careful, okay? All right. 
we'll be talking about the readers. You readers, yes, you know yourself. You know the clients, them who have it like that, who get the readers to come in and read to them while they even snooze. And the readers is there reading like crazy and talking. Guess what? They're getting paid. Some of them are voluntary readers. Some of them are paid readers. I work for clients who pay these readers to come in and read. Okay? And what they do? The same thing again. <laughs> the same thing again. You guys are so disgusting. You stress out the client with your dirty, mucky lives. Yeah, never a happy story. Then when the client, when you guys leave, it's it leave on the caregiver to be so stressful with the client and the stress. The client starts stretching, stressing her out or him out with the with your problem, your sorry ass stories. This is uncut. Your sorry ass messy story. Okay, live your life. In your scope stop living above your means so you have to come and stretch stress out the client for money and they'll be slipping you 200 here and there and stuff like that I know you <laughs> I've seen it happen you guys are messy dirty yes it's not only the scammers on the phone honey all right and I'm gonna talk about the dirty pastors and the churches oh my goodness some of you guys are so dirty and so mucky the church oh my god you think you guys are supposed to be protecting your flocks yes you call up you stealing in the name of jesus stop stealing in the name of jesus god is watching you the god that i serve is watching you dirty pastors you dirty church members who come to the house to give a word of prayer and stressing again, slipping money in your pocket. Oh my God, you guys are awful. <laughs> you guys are so awful. I can't stand you guys. <laughs> you guys are so dirty. Oh my God. My God is watching you, okay? The God that I serve is watching you dirty church members and dirty pastors who are collecting the clients um retirement check the client losing it <laughs> the client losing it okay and the client take the retirement check every time the client get the check the client take it to you yes i know a family member i know a family member friend who the, the client was losing it, you know, start having some dementia, some Alzheimer's stuff. And every time he get his check, he would take it to the church and give it to the pastor. And the pastor take the check. Yes, let him sign it. And yeah. And then months later, the family were like calling Social Security and the company that he worked for over the years and stuff like that. <laughs> and guess what? You know how they find out they found out who is getting this check they, they knew from the you know where they tell them who cashed the check but then the first tip was the postman told them that they um he saw the the client going down the road at the church same as how we get the check he was hustling <laughs> poor little guy poor little grandpa hustling because the church going to say, thank you, thank you, sir, thank you. The church never even called the family member, the dirty pastor. Never even called the family member and said, you know what? Your, your dad has been bringing this check. No, they never do it. Anyway, guys, I got to go. We'll be talking about this in the next video. Guess what? We are here to save lives and take care of the elderly. Wash your hands, wear your mask. Social distancing. Goodbye.